Okay, Let's yes, go. please. Please. All right. Oh, I love this. This is too fast, that, because that's yikes. Yo! Yo! Sometimes it's the simple things <laughs> that get you. And not a lot to be said about me. <laughs> yeah, no, I think the only thing that can be said about that is yo. <laughs> oh, if I was um. bugs. <laughs> All right, another humor. This one is Italian Among Us. Uh oh. Dude, how do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. <laughs> yeah, that's a simple impasta pun. <laughs> Very simple. I like it though. <laughs> it's good. All right, this one is from. Uh, this one was posted on TikTok Cringe, but it was actually from Cringe Topia, and it's a, a okay. duet troll. Oh, I see. It's called Ride This Horse Into The Ground. Yeah. Oh, my heart. I love the hair. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this poor baby is so mean. He's famous and not in the way that he anticipated. <laughs> Just the very, like the, like the Mario <laughs> Death one at the end. The what? <laughs> Well, but before you go away, I want to just, just read this. I don't, I don't know if this is the caption or, or whatever it was. I'm not sure how this worked. But it, it says, in this moment, oh, this, I this am is euphoric. This is the description of the subreddit Cringetopia. So let's hear it. Okay. It's, in this moment, I am euphoric. Not because of any phony God's blessing, but because I am enlightened by my intelligence. <laughs> I I just I see that, and that everyone on this fucking subreddit is laughing laughing at the Mario <laughs> death noise while this child has a breakdown. Like I like this is what I like about Cringetopia as well. They actually have literal breakdowns of what the videos are about. Fourteen percent cringe, seventy four percent satire, eleven percent meta. Oh my god. <laughs> Why has oh. my pain been broken down into 74% satire? <laughs> <laughs> this poor, I mean, it just, all of our parents are always like, I'm glad I was young and stupid before the internet. And I'm like, I'm glad I went through this phase before TikTok because <laughs> like the shit that I used to post on like Facebook and MySpace, if you guys remember those, just... <laughs> Yeah, if I had access to oh. proper video making equipment when I was in my angsty teen phase, oh, it wouldn't have been good. I used my fancy video equipment to make vlogs of me going to the theatre. <laughs> I don't think those videos exist anymore. <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's do uh, another humour one. This one is called How Dare You. Okay, <laughs> that, that's the only proper response. <laughs> I'd be mad as shit too. Yeah, that's perfectly reasonable. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh, poor baby. Just get him a treat. He seems like a good boy. Yeah, he got baited. How a... dare you? He's, he's so mad. I'm yeah. mad on his behalf. A justified outrage. <laughs> 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 All right. Next, we have Gamer Girlfriend. Uh oh. I feel like I'm going to be in this photo and I don't like it. <laughs> Making snacks for my Gamer Girlfriend, part three, launch edition. As per your guys' suggestion, we switched her to Mayo. We love that they come in these convenient single-serve capsules, but it's still not sweet enough for her, so we add a spoonful of sugar to ease the transition. A spoonful of sugar makes the Mayo go down. 
What Next the up, fuck? we have her Andre. She loves Stop. peanut butter <laughs> But they don't have enough texture. We gotta add some peanuts. Just get crunchy peanut butter, the what the fuck? <laughs> which I think is so cute. Next up, we have triple cheese supreme nachos. Why are Next you up, like we have this? Our two Cheddar. <laughs> You mozzarella. shredded cheese! All what the do fuck? Put it in the microwave for two minutes and it comes out perfect. No! Golly, look at that cheese, Paul. That's a crime against humanity. Food, the smile on her face makes it all worth it. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, I want to see if I can get like a, a freeze frame of her, her food, face at the, the end. The smile on her face makes it all worth it. Oh, like, she's fucking done with this shit, and so am I. Like, this woman is just trying to live her life, clearly, and she's so sick of his bullshit. I like that her, she's wearing a cupcake hoodie in the dark, playing what appears to be a Nintendo DS. <laughs> Either a 3DS or a Nintendo DS Lite, which is quite hard to tell which. And your boyfriend comes in with this bullshit. <laughs> Oh my, if you came in with to my house <laughs> with that toxic ass shit. Toxic is probably the right word for some of that. that yeah, was, she's gonna fucking die. That was a soup spoon of sugar applied to that, which to be fair is like less than a glass of orange juice, but still, holy crap. I mean, first of all, it's Mio, not Mayo. Um, I don't like, know what it is. I, <laughs> even in, even the, the 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 commercials used to call it mayo. So, second of all, like that, it, it tastes awful. It it's basically the the drink mixins that I I brought you because they don't uh, have in the UK because like you're not allowed to have, like bring toxic waste into the country. So I smuggled them in. Um, it, it, it's it's a drink mixin, but it's liquid and it's awful. Okay. It's it, it just it, it's all sugar. Um, which to be fair, that's the drink mixins are too. But you know, like also oh, yeah. Still better than like soft drinks, at least a little bit. Uh, yeah. Alrighty, let's uh let's have a look at the next one. We only have one humor one, and then I've decided to uh to, oh no that yeah one humor one, and then I said to end it with like a couple wholesomes in a row to okay. keep us wholesome. All right, we all learn somehow. You can be uh, mad at me all you want, but you can't be on mom's phone googling anime lesbians and not know how to delete your search history and act like that's my fault. <laughs> you gotta be smarter than that, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> when I saw his hair, I knew it couldn't be good. <laughs> This is wholesome. <laughs> no, this was the this is the last humor. Okay, uh, I was gonna say, there's nothing row. wholesome about it. I mean, we've all been there, but like, yeah, we all learned somehow. <laughs> well, I I learned like like the first thing I did was like like super spicy Google search, and then my next search was like, can you get rid of Google searches? I was not aware that search history was a thing. My mum just told me that she could have a look at all of my content. And she never said anything about anything I looked at. Like, she never interacted with my interests. Because I would always do stuff like Pokemon cards and just Google stuff. And I would hope that she'd get the hint. But she never cared. So I was like, oh, maybe she doesn't, maybe she doesn't look at my search history. So I googled, the, I googled the first word that every child does at that age. And Is it uh, no, it was uh, the P one. Ah, yes, no, not the not that P one. Uh, the uh, porn. not penis, not penis. I googled the word porn to find oh. it out, and uh, yeah, it turns out if you just open every link on the first page of Google in two thousand five or whatever, they're probably later than that. But if you do that. You get a lot of pop-ups and viruses, and I had to go ask for help because I was supposed to be doing homework. <laughs> uh -oh. I was curious. I didn't know what so, that so was. <sighs> I wasn't even at puberty yet. I was just, I heard the word. I was like, what is this? Well, this is interesting. More research, I guess. <laughs> this feels forbidden. I should look more because looking at forbidden stuff sounds fun. But nope. <laughs> All the viruses. So I, I have an addendum to this. Okay. Um... 
I, I was a very sheltered child growing up. I, mm-hmm. I only got 30 minutes of computer time a day, and that lasted until I was about 15 years old. Damn. And, yeah, it, it, I was very, very, very sheltered, very um, closed-off child. My, my stepfather made aware of that, but that's another story for another time. Anyways, so I remember around the age of, of 13, my friend who had a mother a hundred percent like 180 percent in the opposite direction which isn't good she, she didn't give a, a shit about like what this child did so she got to see a lot of stuff that wasn't appropriate for her and and what did my friend do she always brought it over and she showed me so she showed me this this song called the internet is for porn saw that <laughs> that's a classic from the albino black sheep days and I had no idea what that was. And so we're watching it and I'm laughing because it says words like grab your dick and double, double click. And, but I, I didn't know what porn was. And I asked her and she gave me kind of like a half-assed answer, but like, it still didn't quite, I couldn't understand what it yeah. was. So I wanted to explain it in terms of things that I could understand. What was I into really at the time? Well, I'll tell you. My number one favorite thing at the time was the anime Naruto. And so I searched the words Naruto porn, trying to understand what porn could be. Oh my God, did I get a (laughs) wake up call. I also didn't realize that like fan art was a thing and there were people who were like really talented and they, they used that talent by drawing like, uh, you know, Hinata and Sakura fucking each other. Yeah. And so me on the internet, (laughs) there's nothing wrong with that. No, like a hundred percent. Like I I became a porn artist for a little bit later on, but that's again, another story for another time, but just, just little, you know, 12, 13 year old me finally like 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 just and then my mom walked in so you know oh. like that was an awkward conversation <laughs> luckily my mother is a very understanding person she's like what you what, what, what you looking at and i was like mom jenna showed me this song uh i don't i didn't understand what porn is and then like like, like searching naruto porn only made me more confused because <laughs> i'm like i'm sitting there and i'm watching and i'm like i've never seen this episode like and i've seen <laughs> all the episodes today like and and then my mom finally sat me down and, and we talked about it and, and, and i understood would so you, s- you know god, god bless her but yeah woof. <laughs> <laughs> would you say your your knowledge underwent a, a substitution jutsu believe it no, how dare you <laughs> all right let's end we'll watch the wholesome models. ones after that yes we can let's do it few <laughs> models going... claim to be this versatile sorry go on Ooh, oh just nothing god bless the dad it's, it's very dad response if you're gonna google anime lesbians very you better true. learn how to just delete it okay okay <laughs> let's watch <laughs> oh, I love frogs. <laughs> I really love frogs. Oh, we got Millie the Frog is apparently a thing. Oh, I'm not sure if that's a Millie Twitter or a, I'm not sure if that's a Twitter or a, a TikTok, but it is available. Oh, God Maybe an Instagram. Bless you, Millie, you are so versatile, <laughs> and I strive for your perfection every day. <laughs> so talented, unbelievable. So talented. Alrighty. This video gives me life. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why so mad ears for days? Oh, so polite. Hey, that's what they said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Damn, she got a stank ass attitude. Yeah. Lifts up to her name. <laughs> Looks to kill I beast. Oh, what are they, car girls? I don't know. There's a lot of Oh, it's very gentle. She's what are you? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you standing like that? <laughs> oh. 
you. Oh. <laughs> Do you know how to eat? Oh. Oh, uh, Howie. <laughs> <laughs> Howie, why are you so mad? Oh. Possessed by a race car. Oh. Howie, why are you angry? Yeah, th this person, uh, Wildcat Ridge's Sanctuary. Uh, sorry, Wildcat, Ri mm -hmm. uh, Wildcat Ridge Sanctuary. They actually have like mm -hmm. a whole series of this uh, this woman who runs the account feeding the certain wildcats there. And I wasn't able to find the video for this one. I'll try and find it in the future. But uh, okay. there is one where a, a full-size, like, lioness or leopard, I can't remember which one it is, just mm -hmm. takes her tongs with the meat in them and just takes the whole tongs. And she's like, can I have this back? And this lion's just sitting there, hat paws on the meat, glaring at her, just like, fucking try it, bitch. <laughs> I hope they have more. I mean, I'm assuming they have more than one, but... They have quite a few, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Howie was the only not. Is, is that... I have to, like, Google it now. Let me see. Is that a carcal? Well, these aren't owned. Obviously, this is a sanctuary. I mean, you could own, like, a wild cat. Like, a, like a, a wild animal. Vicious killing machine. I mean, I guess we do own regular cats, to be fair. So, I mean, well, yeah. First of all, cats are... They, they are very... I mean, so... Yeah. I don't want to say like they're they're awful because like my cats are very affectionate and loving, yeah. but like you know some people don't have cats that just they're not as domesticated as dogs. Like I will say, just the, the way that like cat personalities are so very different than like anything else that we own. Yeah, like yeah, but uh, there is a a breed of cat. And it's called a savanna cat, and it's a domesticated cat breed. Uh, that was supposed to look and have like the, the the dignity of a cheetah, so it's it's a very large cat. It's like the largest breed of domestic cat, and you know they're probably like Lily's size, maybe a little bit lighter. And it's it's called a savanna cat. They're 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 it was the I don't want to say like the first attempt, but like it was an attempt at like giving people that wild cat, but also like not having that wild cat personality and then yeah. the other one is called a pixie bob and that one was more based on a bobcat and the same thing as a domestic cat but it's uh, um made to look like a more predatory uh ancestral cat so you you look like you have a wild animal living in your home it's interesting what you said earlier as well with how um why with how like you say cats are less domesticated, but the fact is they are very domesticated and it's just different personalities, like you said. There's a great documentary I watched uh, about a year and a half ago where someone where someone spent multiple generations trying to domesticate foxes. Like wild fo like really? standard wild yeah. foxes. And they were quote unquote domesticated. But the fact is no one wanted a fox. Because everyone saw a fox and expected it to be like a cat or a dog in terms of domestication. And they expected them to be like that. But they aren't. Their version of domestication right. is completely different. And they're still mischievous. And they still just run around. They still like to gnaw and bite things. They're mm -hmm. just different. There's, do there's domestication and there's training. And different animals right. take to training in different ways. And foxes lean a bit more on the cat side that way. You know, cat, foxes are closer related to cats than they dogs, are. like, in the tree, despite being, like, part of the, the lupin family. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah there so you go. That, that, that's info. cool. <laughs> yeah, I actually, just, just to comment on that, somebody was talking about, like, getting a domesticated fox and they wanted something that was less work than a dog. And somebody in the comments <laughs> was like, motherfucker, like, if you want something that's less worse than a dog, like, get... I don't even fish. want to like, get a goldfish, because yeah, <laughs> fish are a lot of fucking work, too. My That's fair. Fish Gotta clean the, clean the freaking tank. Okay, now this picture of a carcoal looks like it could be. Fair enough. I don't know. Maybe it's a carcoal. It's a something. We might actually do some research into this account to find out. <laughs> I want to know what these, these cats are. That's fair. We'll do, we'll do some research after the show. If you, if, you find out on, uh, if you find out in the audience, leave a comment. <laughs> All right, final vi uh, final video I have, unless this gets mixed in somewhere else. Homie just making his way home. Aww. Is anybody the rat with the pizza? Oh! <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, that makes sense if the cat knows where it lives. Yeah, just, just put a sticker next to it. Just like, this is where he lives. He's coming back home. <laughs> I mean, is that, is that what they was? It's just like 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 a little sticker, and I don't know. It's just like 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 Kitty's home. Yeah, hang on. It's a it's just a sticker of his face. Hang on, Re rewind a bit. No, too far. There you can kind of see it. It's just a sticker of his face. That's so cute. <laughs> Even better. That's so good. Oh, oh boy. he just knows he's just waiting on me. Oh, it's really sweet. <laughs> that is, that's a sweet one. I thought you'd like that one. It's so yeah, sweet. I it makes really sense. did. If they know where they live, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been doing this for a while now, and I feel like I should also say, like, thank you very much, Toucher, for hanging on and enjoying these with me. Thank you for finding them. Uh... <laughs> for the most part i'm making all that myself and I, I feel bad about that so i don't know if you want to plug yourself because you are a entertainer as well and i feel like you should should get something out of this besides you know watching me like like make a stupid face <laughs> i i'm doing this because i enjoy it but if people are looking that i am on twitch youtube twitter or everything basically just as tetra which will be the name that will be appearing on screen when i edit it unless i forget <laughs> all right well if you appreciate toucher he's an absolutely wonderful person please go check him out and if you appreciate me best place to catch me is on my twitch twitch.tv forward slash jinxy cat you can also find me on twitter at jinxy cat on instagram i feel like i keep adding a new one every single time because i forget to do that because i'm new at this so uh yeah you know do those youtube things like comment subscribe hit that jingly bell so you can see more of this i have smashed my hands again i need to stop doing that or at least remember where the desk is i don't know if you'll see these in the proper order where i just continually bully my fingers uh but yeah you know check them out please uh, give me some support and have a wonderful wonderful rest of whatever time it is for you <laughs> thank you so much for joining my love and uh we'll see you guys later bye <laughs>